if you've already seen episode one, you'll know we've already completed the foundations for our house. In this case, we used a rubble trench. Um, this is going to act to both as load bearing and drainage for the house. And from here, we're going to move on to the stem wall. A stem wall is basically a plinth that's above the ground portion of the foundations. They can be built of any long lasting geological material, but in our case, we're using gravel. Uh, what we're going to do is double up on the bags, which we will use for our earth bag walls. They're polyurethane bags. Uh, we're going to fill them with gravel and we're going to lay at least two courses to bring the level of the, of the stem wall well above the possibility of getting wet. So we're here with our double filled gravel bags and I'm going to show you how it's important to lay the bag in the direction of the bag that you've already laid. So you're going to take your bag with the open end and approximate the distance that you need that the, is the length of the bag once it's already laid because this folded in end needs to meet the end of the previous bag so keeping it all in line, position the bag roughly where you need it because it's easier to move now than when it's laid you're going to tuck in that bottom side and fold over the rest of the bag and drop it into position give it a little shuffle to even out the gravel and now if you have a little gap there or if it's not exactly straight you can take the whole bag and just meet it up to the previous one we're going to continue laying the bags like this for every straight part of the wall ensuring each bag is butted tightly against the one before it when it comes to the corner as you can see here the tucked in end of the bag is against the bag next to it before we continue in the other direction and the same here, that bag is turned facing the rest of the wall and the tucked in end is facing the continuing wall. Here you can see the pipe laid between the bags, this will be under the floor level. Next up, after your first course of gravel bags, we're going to apply one continuous ring of barbed wire all the way around, followed by a second. You can fix this to the bags by pressing the barbs into the bags or by using a heavy stone on top of it as you can see here. Next up, we're going to apply the second ring of barbed wire again in a continuous loop and joined at the beginning to allow the building its tensile strength and to stick the bags together like mortar. This is your opportunity to lay in pipes which will be under the floor level. Here you can see we've moved on to the second course of gravel bags. It's important that we apply these in the style of a running bond, making sure each bag is overlapping the join of the one before it. We will continue like this, ensuring each bag with its tucked in end is folded tightly against the one in front of it, remembering to alternate the bags at the corners to ensure the tucked end in is butted up against the bag in front of it, all the way along the wall, except now we will ensure that each bag is also crossed over the join of the two bags underneath it to ensure that running bond and at the same time making sure that the bags are level and evenly placed on top of the bags underneath it that you're making sure the wall is going up in a straight line. Repeat like this until the entire second course is complete. And there you have your complete stem wall and foundations. In the next episode we're going to move on to the box forms for your doors and windows as you can see here from our house build. These are going to hold open the openings in the building for the doors and windows in between the earth bags. And then we will move on to laying your first earth bags.